Good morning, good afternoon everybody. This is my first video on the Styles X00 channel. So eager to see how this goes. And I just wanted to post a video about the best beginning bass in my opinion. Um, so starting off, this is right where you spawn in the beginning of the game. You walk down and get this fast travel point. And then I initially had my bass here uh, when I first started playing, but I had moved it to the uh, new, much better spot. Um, but yeah, so it's right here at the beginning portion of the where you spawn in as soon as the game starts. So heading into the base, I put gates up just to protect against intruders and raids and whatnot. Keep walking in, and it's basically part of this castle. I'll show you the location on the map. You can see it in the back back here. But yeah. Keep going down the staircase this way. Get another gate. I have mines everywhere as well for in case of raiders and some fire pits for hopefully the raiders to run over as long, uh, along with a bunch of rocket launchers and more gates uh, to protect against. And now we're actually entering, as you can see, the blue circle, the actual pal box area to where I could build a lot of stuff. I kind of I call this Anubis Castle just due to all these Anubis statues you see I put everywhere. I, I like the decoration of that. Opening this up is opens up to the big open area of the base, which I love the look of. Coming down through here, I have all my beds to the left. My medicine bench right there, which I rarely use. All my assembly lines nice and ordered, ordered through here. And with my electricity in the center, this was the best place to put it uh, if you do end up building this base uh, for the electricity to kind of always not bug out or whatnot. And then um, I have all my storage here, the PAL boxes. This is where I place the PAL box in here to get get uh, the circle where it's at now. This filters here as well. And I kind of have my little chair. Anubis is taking my chair and TV spot where I can hang out and see all the my breeding and whatnot. But uh, I have uh, all my rare stuff in here that I've gotten thus far. Now heading down to the next section of this base, and this is why I love this so much, is just how everything's kind of separated apart. I put these walls up. The walls help the uh, the AI not to fall off the castle tend to happen. Hopefully Power World will fix that update eventually. Also during this, you'll see every now and then world autosave data pop up on the left of my game. So I can't really post any videos for a while. Right now, there it is. I can't really post any videos for a while because everything I do on here is it, just not being saved. So I'm waiting until an update comes out that hopefully will fix it. But anyways, back into the video. I have my feed box right here. It's a good middle spot for all the uh, pals. I, I got to make sure not to call them Pokemon. All the pals come and eat at a good central location. Continue walking down again, put up a bunch of these to help them not falling off this back little area back here. I've got two breeding farms, uh, which is plenty good for me right now. I'm not trying to do anything, uh, any crazy breeding. I had a, another base with six breeding farms, and it's chaos. It's basically all you can do is focus on breeding. I like just having two. I can still play and then kind of let the breeding go on in the background. So, And then uh, I have all the plants and whatnot down here. And then coming this way, a little cool thing is the little guest bedroom. This ain't part of it, but the cool thing is, is this gold chest spawns here. It requires a copper key every day. It spawns there, so you get some good stuff out of that. Uh, as a beginner, for sure, really good uh, loot and schematics that you would uh, benefit from. So um, that's kind of the inside of the base. Um, to show you the outside of the base, I'll get out old Jetragon. And this is why I love this base. It just looks super nice looking in at it from the outside, flying around it. Very cool looking. You can even fly up into the tunnel to, uh, down these stairs that we initially came up. I like I like that a lot as well. You can fly up around the mountain, kind of hides it all, which I like a lot from the front. You have to go around the back to see it. 
But another cool thing after my jets were gone, get some stamina back real quick. Is that if you come up here? Too bad the pal boxes height is it infinite because I would have I planned on building stuff up here, but um the the pal box height is not infinite. Sadly, you see you see right there the line stops right here. So, but anyways, yeah, you can come come down through this hole above us and you're right into the base as well right into everything so in my opinion this is probably the the best if not the best uh, beginner be uh, base to have that's where I'm going to keep my base for the rest of my game played on time played on this game and uh, I've enjoyed it a lot and of course if you're looking for the ore farm it's posted all over YouTube um, but I also have my ore farm at that same exact location that's all over YouTube at 189, negative 37. It is a great, great ore and coal farm. And um, as you can see, I'll come down here. I usually AFK it at night. And if you AFK it at night, you'll have tons and tons of ore and coal. I have a bunch of stacks on stacks still over there at that base as well. But it's for sure a good setup, kind of going back and forth. Just make sure you set your PAL box if you're going to take the space where I'm at now, which is 258, negative 528, with the back of it facing this way. So the PALs will spawn in back here. <clears throat> all right, guys. That will be the end of this video, my first video on YouTube. I hope you all enjoy it. And, uh, hopefully more to come. Have a great day, everybody.